the Ombudsman affirmed its decision to file charges of graft and usurpation of powers against former President Benigno Aquino III and two other respondents in connection with the anti-terrorist operation, which resulted in the killing of 44 police commandos in 2015. In a statement, Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales said the government watchdog is set to file the information for graft and usurpation of powers against Aquino with the Sandigan Bayan. Morales said the former president will face trial for one count of violation of Section 3A of the anti graft and Corruption Practices Act and one count of usurpation of official functions. Aquino is scheduled to meet with his lawyers to determine his next move, according to statement issued by his spokesperson, lawyer Abigail Valte. The ombudsman made the announcement following the dismissal of the motion for partial reconsideration filed by Aquino. The other respondents in the case are former Philippine National Police Chief Alan Purisima, and former Police Special Action Force Commander Hetulio Napenas. Operation Exodus resulted in the killing of a wanted Malaysian terrorist, Zulkifli Binhir, also known as Marwan, but led to the massacre of the withdrawing 44 elite policemen by Moro rebels in Mamasapano, Maguindanao Province. The U.S. had placed a $5 million bounty for Marwan's capture, dead or alive. Aquino was indicted for allowing Purisima, who was then suspended on graft charges, to be involved in the operation. Purisima and Napenas were charged with graft and usurpation of authority. All three were accused of conspiracy to commit the crime of graft.